How to drinking pure distilled water, what makes up 70-80% of our planet? Water. What makes up 70-80% of our body? That's right, water. Water is the single most important nutrient you will give your body apart from oxygen. Water rejuvenates us and carries vital nutrients all around the body where it's needed. Water picks up all the leftovers, wastes and debris that the cells throw off into the lymph system and transport them out of the body via the channels of elimination. So when you drink more water it has the double combination of feeding your body and clearing you of all the waste products that were built up in your system. Your brain needs water, and plenty of it. Without water, your brain will operate worn out tired and sluggish. Water is the ultimate gift to give yourself to think with clarity. In addition, water acts as a kind of healthy lubricant moistening tissues and joints. When you drink, you want to avoid tap water. Tap water is more like a dazzling mix of chemicals. It contains fluoride, chlorine, and many others. The amount of chemicals in water will fill up books, it's more like a chemical soup. The evidence that fluoride is poisonous is so overwhelming that it's being pushed to be banned in many countries by action groups. The thirst mechanism when having been turned off for a prolonged period is often mistaken for hunger. As you drink more water your thirst mechanism will return to its natural state. Not only will you begin to feel thirsty when you need water again, but your appetite will decrease. This brings us to the next big thing you need to understand about water. If I asked you the difference between inorganic and organic minerals, chances are you couldn't tell me, right? Well let's briefly explain the difference. It's a simple difference. Organic minerals come from plants, inorganic minerals come from rocks and volcanic sources. Organic minerals can be broken down by the body. Inorganic minerals are not used by the body and are stored until suitable water can come and carry them out. Organic minerals can be broken down by the body, while inorganic cannot. One is derived from natural plant life, one is derived from rocks, filings and small pieces of grit. Which one makes more sense to use? It's better to get your plant minerals through the food you eat rather than the inorganic form in water. Bottled water is often taken, tested and found to have bacteria and very often isn't rated much better than tap water. Do you know the best water to use? The best water to use is the same water you use in your iron. The purest water in the world is distilled water. It's as pure as rainwater should be if our atmosphere wasn't polluted. If you haven't yet heard that 70% of the world's population is dehydrated, you will soon, as the UN pushed to get proper water supply to people in the third world. The second best method of filtering is a type of filtering called reverse osmosis. Unfortunately the standard bench top filter isn't enough. Most of the nasty contaminants in our water simply don't have a taste. Some people feel it's a case of out of sight out of mind. This may work for things people think, yet when it comes to your body, the life of your children, the health of those you care about and the line between getting cancer and surviving it's far short of acceptable. The opportunity for energy, for vitality, for a quality of life is only known to a select few who choose to raise their standards and take action to apply what they know. New discoveries are being made all the time as new research comes out of the United States, out of Germany, and out of Australia and other countries. How does this apply to me you may ask? Well, these contaminants can kill you. Is this a reason to get upset? No, it's simply an action signal to act smarter. The best bit is when you're drinking absolutely pure distilled water it is so much easier to drink. It's so easy to refreshingly flood your body with purity that will flush out chemicals, clear out the lymph system and contribute to expelling excess weight in the body. Distilled water is so easy to drink and be absorbed by your body without having to flush out the other nasties first that many people report who were struggling to drink half a liter of water a day, are now drinking 4 liters a day and up, with ease. If you can't get distilled water, reverse osmosis filtered or table water is the next best option. Many people in third world countries don't have access to a clean water supply. We in developed countries have currently almost unlimited access to clean water. My suggestion to you is to use it. 